I just realised you can see the reflection of everything in my glasses, so I just won't wear them next time, but sorry, I'm not changing So week two, viruses and macros. Uh, the main focus has been on macros, because obviously the weekly assignment has been to make five of them, which was actually a lot of fun, surprisingly. Um, although mum's flatmates did think I was a bit weird when I was asking them to, like, pretend to drink a can and, like, count money and stuff. Um, I didn't know, though, like, before the lecture last week, I always thought that memes were the same. Memes were macros, basically. Whenever anybody said to me, oh, look at this meme, usually it was obviously what is I now know to be a macro, but I just always assumed they were memes. So, obviously, some slight confusion there. Memes are kind of the ideas behind the macros, but... And it's a common confusion as well. James Gleek, is that how I'm pronouncing it? James Gleek, his reading for... Uh, the re he was the prescribed reading this week at Sim to the Lean Pool. I expected it to be far more inspiring and like I wanted to be able to say more about it. But it's pretty much just the background of memes. One of the videos that was on LinkedIn to Moodle uh, is by PBS Idea Channel about memes and making a singularity, which I found really interesting. I found that six minutes far more interesting than I found the reading. So it talks about the idea that he takes in more media through uh, GIFs and macros than he does through broadcast media. So he watched more gymnastics in the Olympics in form of macros and GIFs, like funny mistakes and stuff like that, than he did broadcast media, which I think is so true. I d wouldn't know what's going on in the world half the time without like the memes and macros and gifts and everything that proliferates on Twitter and Facebook and everything. Um, so I honestly think it's such an important part of my life and it hasn't really been brought to my attention until I've done the reading and uh, watched quite a few videos and stuff this week. Okay, so key points. Macros making fun. Reading, not as inspiring as I expected, but still interesting. PBS Idea Channel, watch it. Good, good, recommend it. Uh, I'm sure I had a fourth point in here. There was another point that I really wanted to make. Oh! Uh, okay, the examples of memes that Glee gives are kind of quite eye-opening, because it's easy to say, oh, memes an idea, but you don't realise how much it actually spread until he gives the example of things like the earth orbit in the sun. That's a meme. Which is mad. We just take we just take it as fact. Just take it as part of our daily lives. But it is a meme. It's just obviously a successful meme because it's outlived all of the ones relating to the subject of the earth orbit in the sun and the solar system. Um, and the whole idea of memes is that they are successful. The more they proliferate and the longer that they last, the more successful that they are. Anyway, um, I'll leave it there. I know I've not really said much about the reading, but I feel like it was, it was quite an easy reading and it was really self-explanatory. It explained a lot for me, but in terms of what I want to say about it, I'd say I'd just end on the same point that Gleek does, who's a master and who's a slave. I really, I really like this idea of anonymity and not knowing where the memes come from, where ideas come from, where does everything originate?